Hey guys, happy Monday. Here we are. It's the Fantasy Football Astrology Channel. Week 5 is pretty much concluded. We still have Monday night game, the Monday night game, and the Tuesday night game. And so I've got some questions rolling in. Um, I just want to answer all these in a video. I think it'll make it a pretty nice video um, so we can uh, continue to uh, check over the information and see how things feel um, and see how things look. So um, that being said, uh, first question coming in is from Irie Soul. He says he needs 48 points to win. He still has Lutz Camaro and A.J. Brown if he plays. If not, he might pick up Khalif Raymond or Cole Beasley. Okay, so we're looking at who do we start if A.J. Brown is out? Do we start Khalif Raymond or do we start Cole Beasley? And so I've talked a little bit, a bit about Cole Beasley in the past, and he is a Taurus with Josh Allen, but he's a previous Taurus. He's before uh, Josh Allen on the calendar. So uh, Khalif Raymond's in a similar situation with Tannehill in that they're both Leos, but Khalif Raymond is a further ahead along Leo. And so in this case, astrology is pointing and tipping the hat to starting Khalif Raymond this week uh, as a pretty intriguing play. Um, he's a big playmaker. Uh, he's a big time deep threat and they're even using him in the end of round games. And I suspect he's kind of like a little gadget player that could even use in wide receiver screens and, and things like that. And so uh, Davis is out uh, this week as well as Humphreys. And so Khalif Raymond is actually a really nice uh, spot start this week, especially if A.J. Brown doesn't play. And even if A.J. Brown does play, um, they're looking at, uh, he's probably gonna be drawing the cover of Tredavious White. So that's a kind of a scary start there. Um, but uh, I, I, I think I saw Nelson Aguilar beat Tredavious White uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so it's not out of the uh, realm that uh, A.J. Brown will have a good week this week. Okay, so that answers that question. Next question is coming in from Goshan Beats. He says, what do you think of the Lions? The Lions are my home team. I love the Lions. Woohoo! Go Lions! And so... He asks, is there any good connections there? TJ Hawkinson, Swift, or Galladay? Thanks. And so uh, Detroit Lions are really interesting uh, in that Matthew Stafford is an Aquarius. He is a, that is the water bearer. And so it's kind of funny. You look all around to all of his receivers. Uh, Galladay is a Scorpio water sign. Uh, Marvin Jones Jr. is a Pisces, a water sign. And... Hawkinson is a cancer, a water sign. So the water bearer has water signs all around him. And so those are decent connections, uh, not world beating at, uh, astrology connections, but uh, definitely some confluence there. I think Marvin Jones Jr. probably has the best astrology, uh, all things considered out of those three guys. Uh, if you wanna go a little bit deeper into a Marvin Hall or Quintez Cephas, they are both Aries. And so they have probably, a, that's a pretty good match. Um, uh, they probably have a little bit better astrology. Of course, we'd have to see their usage go up. Um, so that's the story there. I, I'd say Marvin Jones Jr. is another one of those uh, pretty good buy low candidates. Uh, last year, I think he was averaging like 15 points a game. So I think once this Detroit offense kind of gets rolling a little bit, uh, Marvin Jones Jr. is still gonna have some really big weeks. So, uh, also DeAndre Swift is a Capricorn. And so, um, with Patricia as a Virgo and Daryl Bevel as a Capricorn, um, I think Swift is another super good buy low candidate. Um, I think by the end of the year, uh, he's just so good, man. Uh, there's talks about him in training camp being incredible, and he dropped that pass in week one in the end zone to win the game but uh you know uh that's that's kind of the things that we can expect out of rookies but we can also expect them as the year goes to get stronger so there's another good buy low candidate i think is deandre swift you can probably trade him for next to nothing 
and um, I have really high hopes and uh, a, and for good reason for DeAndre Swift. Okay, so that covers that. Uh, the next question coming in is from Nikhil Patel. He says, should he trade Marquise Brown for Terry McLaurin? And I would say absolutely. Terry McLaurin had a pretty slow week. He's another good buy low candidate. There's probably a lot of owners really nervous about Kyle Allen. A lot of owners are going to be really nervous about Alex Smith. They think Kyle Allen's going to be back, but um, he asked about the connection between Alex Smith and Terry McLaurin. And once again, Alex Smith is a Leo. So uh, going to a Virgo, the sign right in front of him, that's a really good match. Uh, fire to earth. And so uh, Terry McLaurin, you look at all of his quarterbacks and he's pretty much, uh, as far as an astrology standpoint, he's got good chemistry with all of them. Uh, so that's a positive sign. I would absolutely trade for Terry McLaurin, another good buy low candidate. Uh, he also asked the connection between Alex Smith and Antonio Gibson. Now this is where Gibson gets a pretty strong downgrade. If Alex Smith is out there as a Leo, Antonio Gibson as a Cancer, not a good match. Okay, so uh, uh, that doesn't really scare me from Antonio Gibson. Running backs are more about, you know, getting carries and, and getting used in the dump off game. I, I kind of view Alex Smith as somebody who's a really kind of smart decision maker of the football game manager type guy. And so those type of guys are always going to be given um, the dump off game uh, a pretty strong boost. So I still have high hopes for Antonio Gibson, even with Alex Smith in that lineup. Um, another question he asked, should I keep Edelman for the rest of the season or look for guys like Claypool in Fulgham to replace him? And I would say yes to both. Uh, you want to keep Edelman. Um, He's, he's going to be a productive player. He's already shown that. Uh, Cam Newton should be coming back soon, we suspect, and so they should get it going again. Um, they're both, I believe, Tauruses. Edelman's a later Taurus, uh, so that works pretty good. Um, good match with Newton for sure. Um, and so also, yeah, of course, try to get Claypool. Try to get Fulgham. I don't know what your roster looks like, and I'm sure it's it's tight like the rest of us, but um, gosh, I would really be trying to get Claypool uh, no matter what, really. And so those are the questions that came in, guys. Um, another guy did ask about if there's any good buy low candidates. He was asking about DJ Chark. Um, DJ Chark is not a good astrological match. Uh, Minshew's a Taurus. DJ Chark's a Libra. So they're actually both ruled by Venus. So there is a, a similar type of language that they understand. And uh, I don't know if DJ Chark's really a buy low candidate. I'm pretty high on DJ Chark. I think we saw how... Gardner Minshew struggled without DJ Chark out there, and I, I feel like DJ Chark's kind of his uh, go-to kind of lucky charm guy, even though the astrology isn't great. Um, I'm, I think he's definitely the receiver to own uh, in Jacksonville. So, uh, Levique Levique Chenault is also a Libra. Uh, Keenan Cole's an Aries, so he doesn't have like really good astrology with anybody. Uh, so. I think he'll continue to favor DJ Chark. If you can get him, I would. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, as far as other good buy low candidates, I've named a couple in this video. And uh, I'm going to keep scouring the field and, and trying to come up with uh, some good candidates that you guys can chew on. I'll probably do a, a video on that later, maybe in the waiver. Uh, I'll do be doing a like a top five, maybe top ten uh, waiver editions of this week. Okay, guys. All the best to you in your games tonight, uh, and uh, have a great Monday.